Hi, and welcome to the Google for Education Teacher Center. This is where you would pop in to do your learning um, to prepare for your Google Educator Level 1 or Level 2 exam. We strongly recommend that you do Level 1 before starting Level 2. So even if you feel like you're ready for Level 2, we recommend that you write your Level 1 exam first. But assuming most of you will start with Level 1, this is a really great place to start your learning. So when I click on this link, it will bring me to this little certification um, kind of screen. And you want to start here in the Git training, in the Fundamentals training. So when I click on Fundamentals training, it's going to open up to this. And it shows me that I've done 11 out of the 13 units in the course because I've already worked my way through them. But what you can see is that there are 13 little modules that are um, built up with little mini lessons inside. So this is definitely something that you can work away at. You could do a module each day and kind of chip away at the work that is there. So if I click on this one, for example, this is one of the modules I didn't complete, and that's okay. You don't have to complete all the modules in order to get certified. So I would click on the little lessons here. It'll tell me that it's gonna take me about 23 minutes to work through this module. And I just kind of scroll through, read the information. It gives me opportunities to interact with the material as well. And then there's videos from educators showing how that they have used these tools in their classrooms. Um, beyond that, at the end, there's these little lesson checks, which are really great because the questions are very similar to what you see on the exam. So it's a really great place to practice and check your work as you work along. So that's the training center. So once you've worked your way through the training modules and you're feeling very comfortable, what we would suggest is that you then work through some of the additional resources that we've made available for you in the learning portal. So we have attached a link to a document that has a whole bunch of skills practice, skills checklists, things like that. So things that you can do to kind of work through some of those skills. So once you've done all of that and you're feeling good, then you're going to click on the link that is provided on the PD portal to request a OCSB Google certification token request. The exam itself does cost $10, but we cover the cost of that exam for you as many times as you need to be successful. So if you are not successful the first time you write it, all you need to do is request a second token, wait a week, and then you can rewrite the exam and pass the next time. When you're ready to write your exam, we will send you an email that has all the information in it um, and the link where you need to register. But you would register for your exam and within about 24 hours or so, sometimes 48, they will send you an email from Google's exam center with all the information you need, to, you need to log in and get ready to write your exam. It is a three hour exam. Many people spend the entire time writing the exam. So it is long. So make sure you do take some time or set aside some time where you won't get interrupted and you can write without um, Wi-Fi interruption either. Once you've written the exam, the results are usually sent to you via email almost right away. So you should receive your results. And then if you want to keep learning, then you can go on and jump into the level two modules, which uh, dig a little bit deeper. You'll touch on things like Google Earth in this one and some of the different extensions and kind of branching out beyond the basics of uh, Google Drive and, and YouTube and all that stuff. So that's the information you need for the Google exam. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Thanks so much.